Hey, thanks for joining my hike. I'm Kevin, and uh, I hope you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these hikes. Just a little warning, this trail could be a little tricky, so watch your footing, even if you're watching from home. I mean, that's how tricky it is. It, it, it knows where you live. So strap on your helmet, pull up your spanks, and why don't we go take a hike? I remember first seeing my hiking buddy today in that Bruce Springsteen music video, Dancing in the Dark. Oh man, am I excited about today. She's an actor, a director, a producer. And does the name Gail Weathers ring a bell? Yes, that was a character's name in the horror series Scream. And what about Jules Cobb from the sitcom Cougar Town? Hey, come on, I'm talking here. Yeah, I think we're all on the same page. We knew her and we loved her as Monica on Friends. And yes, today we were hiking and possibly dancing in the light with the multi-talented Courtney Cox. Courtney, your friends are always raving about how you're so good at everything and that you could do anything. And I guess that must be true, but what do you struggle with? What aren't you good at? Well, I'm not good at any of the things that people are saying I am. They just are being nice because I've been recently posting my self on like playing the piano or playing yeah. tennis yeah but okay what am i not good at and those people probably are so untalented they can't do anything so they see that and they go <laughs> wow she's eating with a fork <laughs> i'm not computer savvy i wish i was better at being uh, on a computer just learning things i wish i had a better attention span and i could sit down and read okay so your attention span is short good oh to my know God, it's good terrible. to know yeah yeah i gotta go <laughs> do you remember why we're here <laughs> no <laughs> hello Hi. Hello. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Hmm. All of a sudden, you come out of the gates on Instagram, and you are like so um, excellent at it. The posts and the captions. Wait a minute. Does Coco help you with those? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I did the TikTok one, which, by the way, was my biggest post. Was it? Yeah. Oh, my God. You get, like, zillions of followers. No, I'm, not, I'm not. You I can mean, start a religion. <laughs> no. I, I really am not. I mean, Jennifer has, like, crazy amounts of followers. And Wait, well, you you were the one that encouraged her to get on, and she broke the record, I she think, for getting a million, the internet. a million viewers like that. Yeah. I mean, that was crazy. I mean, she's got so many followers. Um, she but does. it's. But are they quality? <laughs> And then it was like, it's been like the one year anniversary, right? Yep, had a one year anniversary. And then you guys went on Ellen, I think. And didn't Ellen encourage both of you guys to get on um, I pr Maybe, she, um, I'm not sure, probably. I would say probably, but definitely she did with me. Yeah. I think she did with Jennifer too. Instagram is one of those things where I kind of, I love it because it makes me think creatively. Like, yeah. what, is, what makes me laugh? I'm actually cutting this post together right now where... I mean, no one may find this funny, but my dogs burp every time they eat food. Nobody, they might think, oh my God, she's so inappropriate and so weird. And who cares? I say if it makes you laugh, yeah, it makes then me laugh. that's who cares? what you yeah. gotta do. Right, right. I just do it for fun. I yeah, don't know about too. like, I'm not an influencer. No one's sending me things. But how great is it when you play a uh, uh, Alicia Keys song and then she gets back to you saying how much she liked it? That was great. I played a, um, a Brandy Carl. is that a snake? No. I played a Brandy Carlisle song yeah. with uh, Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol, yeah. and I messed up. But I um, at the end of the song, but she wrote. And she was like, "Let's do a jam session sometime." No way. That's she was great. like, "Oh my God, thanks for whatever." She gave a nice compliment, and then I DM'd her. Yeah. And then we like became friendly, and next time she comes into town and she's there on a Sunday, she's definitely gonna come over and. Well, she said she would anyway. She's That's gonna really play with exciting. us. exciting. So you're gonna be practicing now between now and then. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about. The name Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol. Okay. When you have that last name, Lightbody, uh -huh. you can never gain weight. Because <laughs> if you gain weight, people are going to say, wait a minute now. I thought your name was Lightbody. <laughs> this is kind of contradictory, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> your partner is Johnny McDade from Snow Patrol. Yeah. He's from, is it Ireland or England? Yeah, he's from Northern Ireland. Northern he's Ireland. from Derry. Have you been there? Yes, many times. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful, yes. How lucky are you to have all these professional musicians kind of... I gotta tell you, I love... I love the, the whole world of music. I saw that you were playing with Johnny. It was at the Royal Albert Hall. Was that you playing and then? That was, was not that some me. some fancy editing? That was fancy editing. I did okay. play at the Royal Al Albert Hall. That's hard to say, by the way. It is, especially when you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> like we right. are. Um, I was playing at Royal Albert Hall, but I did not play when they actually perform. Oh, it's like during the sound check or yeah, something? Yeah, exactly. 
But Johnny does teach me a lot of different songs, so I get, I'm, I'm lucky. Courtney, when you did a little music video back in 1984 with Bruce Springsteen called Dancing in the Dark, was that really kind of like your first break? Yeah, it was. I mean, I'd done a New York telephone ad, and I'd done two Which we days. all remember. <laughs> right. You were a huge Springsteen fan, right? Um, At the time? Yes. No? Well, I, I'm from Alabama. It was a different... I mean, I wasn't from New York, New Jersey, but I couldn't believe that when I went to the concert... <gasps> oh, you okay? Yeah. Oh, that was really a real concert? It was a real concert, yeah. I auditioned for that part. I, I, Brian De Palma directed it. I went into his office and had wow. to dance. And cheer. Uh, and cheer. Scream. <laughs> no, louder. Louder scream. <laughs> <laughs> and I went... Uh, to do that video and I was petrified. I didn't want to go up on stage and dance. I'm not a great dancer, although I do love to dance. Yeah. And I'm I've seen, I've seen your TikTok. Oh, well, that's hard to do a TikTok. You were Isn't that huge... funny? I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> you were you were a huge Springsteen fan. Did you talk much to him by the way? Um not that much because he was opening. Right. And he, we played the song twice in concert. It was the first day of the tour. But he was so nice. Yeah. Do you still keep in yeah, touch with him? Had, I think they both, him and Brian De Palma both had the a cold or the flu or something. Oh, that's got to be horrible. Um, I don't. I, I see him. I went to go see his show in New York. Yeah. And I went backstage and talked to him, and that's he's, cool. he's such a great guy too. Yeah, I've never met him. So between um, that video and Friends, yeah. what was going on with you? Auditions. Oh, between the okay, yeah. So we did the video, then I got a show called Misfits of Science, and I moved to California, and did that. We did 13 episodes. Yeah. Then I did uh, after that. I did Family Ties. Oh, right. And then your agent calls and says, there's a show called Friends Like Us or something. When you were up for Friends, was there ever a point where you almost passed? Like after you read the script? No. You definitely wanted to do it. I definitely wanted to do it. Um, I thought it was a really funny script. And I mean, I didn't know it was going to be such a big show. Right, you never did. But I thought it was funny for sure. Who was up against you? Anybody? Um, Nancy McKeon. For Monica, I was going to the bathroom in the when we go to the network and we have to read. Yeah. And I was. How scary is that, by the way? That's uh, so scary. Oh, the worst. But I, um, the next stall, I think, was casting director or somebody was in there, and I heard them say, like, "Oh yeah, Nancy did a really good job." Oh. Like Nancy McKeon. I was like, oh. oh. So I, pretty sure. Yeah. So. I mean, for sure, her. I'm not sure who else. What would be your ideal friends reunion? Ideal. Yeah. Well. You know what the ideal for me, and we just actually recently did this, yeah. and it took forever. I, mean, I don't know how many years it was, maybe 15 years, and we finally all got together and had dinner. I just did you really? Yeah, and when we get together, which is never, it only happened, it just doesn't happen very often, right. like twice since we ended the show. It's just the most fun. We laugh so hard. And where was it? At a restaurant or at somebody's um, house? One time at my house, and one time at Jen's house. So, do you think you guys okay. would ever do a reunion? On some um, kind of a we're not going to do. I mean, I can say this because yeah. by the time you air this, it'll already be out. Like probably later today. <laughs> okay. So don't do it before. That. Okay. Okay. <laughs> really serious. I get no, into I I, You know how long it takes me to edit these things? Okay. It takes me like a whole week. Um, okay. So the exciting thing is, is that we're going to all get together for the first time in a room and actually talk about the show. And nice. it's going to be on HBO Max. That's great. And I'm so excited. That'll be We're great. going to have the best time. That's going to be great. But we really haven't all done that and actually sat there and talked about and reminisced about this incredible experience that we had. Yeah. I mean, we've, it's just, it's going to be fantastic. Isn't it amazing how that's still so alive, that I show. know. Well, it actually came back alive. Yeah. And see, people are always wearing their friends' uh, sweatshirts. My nanny was wearing one the other day. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I was on that show. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> it's so great. I'm yeah. So and I mean, about that. listen, I, I'm so thrilled that I was on a show that people actually learn how to speak English because they watch the show. Yeah. I mean, they, they it's, it's just touched so many people's lives. But it was just the 25th anniversary. And there was, that was a lot of hoopla yeah. about that. Can you believe it's been 25 years? Since we started that show? No. Yeah. Who would you recast today? I'm friends. Is there anybody that stands out in your head that would go, that would hi, be, hi. hi, if you couldn't do your own, you know, the original cast. And we had to have younger people? Yeah. Well, Timothy Chalamet can be Joey. Yes. How great is he? Oh, God, he's so great. He looks a little bit like Joey. I know. 
Um, who else? Uh, hmm. That's a hard one. I know, but I like it. Yeah. Who would be a good swimmer? Um, Jonah Hill. Jason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, are they going to fight me? No. I'm gonna go this side. no. Puppies? Hey, yes. puppies. Hi. Hola. Hi. You are a chicken. I know, but did you hear them growling? You are a chicken. I mean, they're growling, and I love dogs, but they were growling. Usually those big scary dogs yeah. are the friendliest. Well, those the, the ones that, that the, But you didn't show the camera of him like showing his teeth. The dog said he wanted to be on camera. I know I'm a chicken. Okay. It's embarrassing. Here's another trivia question. Okay. What cast member on Friends never hosted SNL? I would say, well, I was gonna say one of the guys, but Yeah. Is it a guy? Yep. Okay, then I'm gonna say Matt LeBlanc. You're right! Ah! I hosted SNL the first I year I was, I was on, on Friends, but guess what? I was way too green. I should have done it like year five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you didn't know I was, was going to go that long. I don't remember you as being green. I was so green. I was so nervous. Well, yeah, I could everybody do it now. is. I'd love to do it, but I, I don't. Nobody wants me to do it. Now. Everybody's nervous. Are we going this way? Um, we might have crossed that. Let's go over here. Which way is the parking lot? It's this way, yeah. definitely. Well, we just came this way from the parking lot. Oh, you did? Okay, I told yeah. you. I told you it's this way. I told you. <laughs> She's been arguing with me all day. <laughs> You're not great with directions, turns out. So you were on Friends for 10 years. Yeah. Did you go through phases like where you were kind of like at odds with somebody and then you kind of got friendly again with them? And, or was it always kind of like... I mean, yeah, we'd have keel? some, not really odds, but there'd be, I mean, we were, we were, we were like a family for sure, but... All in all, I would say we're the luckiest as far as getting along, you know, excited to be there, excited to see each yeah. other, and respecting each other. Right. And you all knew you were on a good thing. Yeah. You don't want to mess it up. In your opinion, out of the entire <laughs> cast, who do you think physically had the smallest head? Oh. You get that all the time, right? No, yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> um, the smallest head. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. Do you know the answer? No. Oh, because I really like the question. Um, I would. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Lisa. Lisa Kudrow had the smallest head. I'm just gonna say it. She's got the biggest brain, I think, though. Yeah, she's pretty smart. Do you count your steps every day? No, I don't. You have somebody that counts them for you? Yeah. I count them just in my head. So <laughs> don't bother me, okay? Stop asking me questions. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking about the documentary Cheer now. I know. Have you I haven't watched seen it? it no. I haven't either. But I'm, you seem like you might be a, a bachelor kind of girl. Well, you know. Hey, hi hey, hey, hi, 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 hi. hi. Um, I'm not really a bachelor person. Um, Jennifer's a real bachelor girl. Yeah. I go there to her house sometimes to watch, but I'm not really watching as much as I am. Kind of doing the dishes and making sure That's I get everybody something. That's because of your, your short attention span. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do want to watch Cheer. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, the same people that did Cheer also did Last Chance You, which is a documentary series that I am obsessed with. And I'm going to play the character, Brittany Wagner, who was in the first two seasons. She's the counselor. Really? I'm going to play her, uh, my, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's developing exciting. a project about her. Were you a tomboy growing up? Yeah. That's what I thought. I know, that's what's weird that I'm so afraid of things. Would you ever leave Hollywood and marry a prince if you weren't in a relationship? Marry a prince? Yeah, like, the, like and in England. And have to be royal and all that stuff? Yeah, how would you get along There's being no the royal family? There's no way I could do that. No way. How long do you think you'd last? I, I mean, just the hat alone. I can't. I don't want to wear hats. I don't want to. I can't. No. The clothes. I couldn't. None of it. And also, I get too personal with people. There's no way I can call somebody. You know, your royal your highness, highness all the time. And, yeah, I yeah, just wouldn't work. Okay, because that was really one of my demands lipstick. on this hike today is that I would be referred to as your royal highness. I can do it for this hike. <laughs> okay. Your royal highness. Uh, hi, hi. <laughs> Look at Meghan Markle. She she lasted about a year and a half, I don't know. And then they finally moved into Canada. I mean, it is a big deal to kind of step down, but if you know you're never going to be the king, and yeah, if you don't I have mean, a shot at it. Why put up with all that stuff? Yeah, what, what's the, can't you still do all the good work that you do and help people? I mean, Prince Harry is a really nice guy. Did you meet him? Mm-hmm. 
I have met him. He's nice and he's he's funny and he cares and he's I think he's I think he's pretty great. That's cool. I've never met any of those people. I know English people. You do? Say. Yeah. That's good. So I'm looking at your Instagram posts. You occasionally will dress up like a man. And at first I thought she looks exactly like Rob Lowe, but yeah. maybe a little more masculine than Rob. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. You know I love you. You also posted, you and Jennifer Aniston, uh, you dressed up like Jennifer, mm -hmm. and you look like you could have been sisters. I know, we did, didn't we? Do you have any friends that aren't named Jen? Hey, 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 hey. What would your friends say about you? Are you the motivator? Um, probably not. I, what's the thing Jennifer always says? Um, I don't judge. Like, you, I, I, there's, you could tell me anything and I don't ever go, I mean, I, mean, I will listen. Right. But I don't, I don't judge. Like, there's no judgment to me. So you're talking about doing another TV show. Uh-huh. And this is going to be coming up this year, you think? Yeah, I'm going to do, right now, I have three things going on. And I'm going to make all three of them happen. you got four things, including this hiking And this. Yeah. Yep. Um, so they're I, all going to happen. They're all going to happen. So like one it. of them I'm going to do first. And yep. it's a pilot, and hopefully it'll go. And I think there's almost no way for it not to because it's so good. What's it called? Um, it's called Shining Veil. And it's um, a horror, a scary nice. comedy. I can't wait. I've never been, I haven't worked in a while. I was kind of... You know, I've read things. Money's running out, loved. right? Money's running out. I, <laughs> <laughs> tough times. Yeah. But uh, I just, you know, it's hard. You know, when you've been on a show I like know. Friends, it's hard to that's find. That's where I know you from. That's right. Yeah, okay, so that is that. That's what I'm doing first. And the other one is the thing I told you about, Last Chance You. It's not called that. And then the other thing is, um, I ha we haven't sold it yet, but this is going to happen. And by the time this airs, I'm telling you, I'm going to make this happen. But I've got this incredible writer, who wrote mostly the second season of Mine Hunter. Oh, nice. And she's writing, um, I don't know if you saw this thing called The Evil Genius. It was on Netflix. I didn't see that. No. Documentary series. Well, I was kind of obsessed with the character, the lead. Are you one of these girls that are into these crime? True crime drama? Things, yeah. Oh, God. I'm obsessed with Why are it. so many women into true, true crime I don't stuff? know. And it's so warped and dark and yeah. weird. And I just, I think I'm fascinated with people's minds and how they can be that way. How are you as a mother? Do you think you're strict? No. No. You think uh, you're not strict enough? Yeah, I think I'm not strict enough. <laughs> I'm way too understanding of like, oh uh, yeah, I would have probably done the same thing. I know. I don't keep my boundaries like I should and that's a problem. I have a great daughter. She's so, she's so sensitive and she cares, but I definitely, I, I, I don't, I think I could be better at sticking to something once I've figured out. A lot of times I just overreact and go, well, you're not gonna do this forever. And then yeah. I I've obviously change it. I have to stop and go, okay, what can I really stick to? Yeah. And I don't do that. Like, I'm not saying that I didn't drink when I was a kid. I did. I remember throwing up at 14. Throwing up? Yeah. That's Drinking memory, some tequila, isn't it? yeah. That's a good I memory. I might have been 13. And I definitely did all the things that kids are doing now. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, bye bye. Are you a good sleeper? No, I sleep with a night guard, earplugs. I mean, I have to use those silicone earplugs. Yeah. I can't sleep without them. What about a face? Thing? No, I don't need no? that. You're not. That's nothing. I sleep with a night guard, mm -hmm. a retainer, and a CPAP machine because I have sleep oh, apnea. Oh, you have apnea. Oh, so it's no. a full face mask, and I'm breathing like this. And my wife goes, Jesus, this is like she sleeping must... with somebody in ICU. <laughs> And I start getting all jealous. Says, How would you know that? Are you seeing somebody in ICU? How much longer do they have? <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. Man, I cannot wait for that Friends reunion. That's going to be so good. Maybe they'll share some behind the scenes dirt with us. I'll share some behind the scenes dirt with you about this hike. You know that family that was sitting at the picnic bench with the masks on and the hats and the umbrellas? That was the rest of the Friends cast. Yeah, they were all on the hike. You didn't know that. I told you it's a tricky trail. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll catch you next time. Happy trails.